Let's do a few more things with the uh, transportation of crackers problem and solver in Excel. What we're going to do now is, since we already have our kind of lowest cost shipping schedule, let's find out what it costs the company to uh, agree to the $15 million cases to be produced at plant B. And let's also do the uh, overestimate of 20% and 15% by distribution centers 1 and 6 and see what um, uh, changes that might produce in our shipping schedule. Let's return to Excel. Just to save this, so we'll make a copy of it. Right mouse click, move or copy, move to end, create a copy. And we'll call this part 2. And the easiest way to see what the minimum requirement of 15 million cases at plant B did is simply remove that from our constraint. So I'm going to go to the data menu item, solver. Notice that even though we copied uh, uh, the spreadsheet, it also copied all the solver uh, constraints. What we want to do is locate the one that says the production has to be bigger than the medium minimum, which is G16. Sorry, that's H16, bigger than J16, which is right here. So I'm just going to delete that one. And we'll just resolve. It'll have the same constraints on the demand and on the capacities and productions. Keep solver solution. I want you to notice that the cost is identical. If you were to compare this, kind of memorize those numbers, I'll go back to part one. Notice there's really no change, same numbers. What that says is, in terms of shipping of crackers from plants to distribution centers, no change was made whether you had that agreement with the labor at plant B or not to produce 15 million. You were going to have the same shipping schedule and the same cost. So let's make a copy of this one. And this one we'll call part three. <clears throat> and this one, what we're going to do is change the demand at plant one. We're saying it was 20% too high. So what I'm going to do is simply find out what number that would be. I'm going to take equals that number, divide by 1.2. That's the 20% too high. We get 12.67. So I'm just going to type that into here. It's going to be 12.67 instead of 15.2. I'm just going to delete that now. We said that 6 was 15% too high. So let's do an equals that number divided by 1.15. 10.52. So we'll make that 10.52 and delete that number. And uh, we're ready to go. We've changed the demands. We said there should be lower at those two centers by those amounts. And um, that's how I interpreted the 20% too high and the 15% too high. And um, on solver, we probably, it's up to you really, this is just a demonstration, um, should we re-put in the 15 million at plant B? If you say yes, then we should um, add a constraint that says that the production of plant B should be larger than or equal to the constraint, the minimum of 15. And now everything should be set. It saved all the further, uh, previous settings. We just hit solve. Keep it. And because the demands are a little bit lower at those two centers, you don't have to ship quite as much to them. Uh, that means the total cost was a little bit lower. Notice this time we did have to meet that minimum of 15. Um, apparently there's a different solution where it's even lower than 50.71 million uh, if we hadn't agreed to this minimum. And you could find it very quickly by redoing solver with that constraint missing. If you wanted to do that, you could simply make another copy. I'll just leave it as part three, not number two. And we'll change the solver 
to now eliminate H16 being bigger than J16. Delete. Let's solve again. And indeed, um, if we don't agree to that minimum, plant B will produce a lot less than 15. We're doing a slightly different shipping sh schedule than before and uh, almost a million less in cost. Let me click on part three again so you can remind yourself that used to be 50.7. We eliminate that agreement it's down to 49.91 so that difference would be the cost of agreeing to this minimum at plant B many more things you can do with solver but this is a very typical resource allocation or transportation problem and that completes the parts that we wanted to look at